Welcome back to my channel. In a previous video, we talked about the Olfest, the monsters and great serpents of Ireland. And today, I want to take a closer look at the probably most famous Olfest of them all. Cuernach, the mother of monsters. Cuernach is known as an Olfest and the mother of demons and monsters. As a famous figure of Irish mythology, she even made her way in today's pop culture. And you can, for example, find her in the video game Clan O'Connell and the Crown of the Stack. Which, by the way, you should definitely check out. And she even found her way into Elden Ring, where you can find a song in the soundtrack called Lady Cuernach of Loch Jerk. Why did they call the song Lady of Loch Jerk? Because some legends surrounding Cuernach tie to Loch Jerk and to how that lake got its name. One of the old legends tells of an old hag causing chaos in the region surrounding Loch Jerk in today's County Donegal. The people in that region grew so desperate that they sent for the legendary hero Finn McCool and his Fianna to finally bring an end to this madness. After a long chase Finn finally managed to fire an arrow from afar, striking the old hag down. But because he shot the arrow from such a far distance, nobody really saw where the body of the old hag landed. The Fianna searched far and wide, and finally found the body. But they were warned that they best not move it, as under no circumstances they were allowed to break the thigh bone. For if the thigh bone of the corpse was ever broken, it would release a monster into the world. Well, as you can imagine, the legend would not be known today if the thigh bone was still in one piece. Unfortunately, one of the warriors named Conan stumbled upon the body and accidentally broke the bone, releasing a tiny hairy worm. Sounds harmless enough, doesn't it? But the tiny worm kept growing and growing and growing into a giant Olafest. This was Cuernach. She became massive and started to devour cattle to satisfy her hunger. And while she devoured one herd of cattle after the other, she became the mother of various monsters. Monsters who scourged the land for many centuries. When most of the cattle of Ulster was already devoured, the people grew angry and blamed Conan for his mistake. He had released this monster and he should find a way to bring it down. Conan was angry at all the blame he got. He took a sword and challenged the beast at today's Loch Jerk, and eventually he struck it down. Her blood flew into the lake, dying it red. And from then on, the lake was known as Loch Jerk, Red Lake. Another version of the legend surrounding Cuernach and Loch Jerk doesn't include the Fianna, but the legendary patron saint of Ireland, St. Patrick. St. Patrick travelled around the island of Ireland and spread the word of God amongst the pagan tribes of the island. One day, a vision led him on top of a mountain, a mountain where an ancient evil, the dreaded Cuernach, lived. She was known as the mother of monsters to the pagan people of Ireland, for her children were the scourge of humanity. When Patrick reached the top of the mountain, Cuernach was well aware of his presence, and for the first time in her ancient life felt fear. In her desperation to get rid of Patrick, she summoned some of her darkest, most malicious children. But Patrick was calm. He had faith. And he knew that God was with him and would banish all evil. 
and so he prayed. And God sent a whirlwind to the top of the mountain. A whirlwind that swept everything away. Everything but Patrick and Querlach. For she was too strong for even this godsend wind. But even though she needed all her strength to withstand the wind, she wasn't ready to give up or to even withdraw in any way. And so she transformed herself into a giant dragon and spit fire towards Patrick. But again, Patrick prayed and was protected by the power of God. For two days and two nights, Patrick and Quaranach fought. Spell against prayer, brutal power against faith. Until Quaranach finally was beaten and fled to a nearby lake. But Patrick wasn't ready to give up. He chased after her. And when he finally found her at the lake, she had enough of him and in her desperation reached out and swallowed Patrick whole. But still, Patrick had his faith. And like in many tales, this giant beast would soon regret not to chew the meal first. Patrick simply took his crozier and with its iron shot point slid open the stomach of Quernach, killing the old Olfest and dyeing the lake red from the blood of this ancient evil. And again, the lake that lies in County Donegal gained the name Loch Jerk, Red Lake. But there's also a version of this legend where St. Patrick didn't accomplish to slay the beast, but merely banished it to Loch Jerk. And there, the old Olfest old is still lurking under the surface waiting for the people of Ireland to lose their faith, so she might rise again and terrorize the world once more. Thank you very much for listening. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when new videos come out. See you next time. Slan slan!